Welcome back. Three families in the Tupelo area will soon realize the dream of home ownership. As WCBI's Ellie Martin reports, the families are getting homes built by volunteers with Habitat for Humanity in a unique triple build. Before this morning, Jeannie Alice Bruce had never used a nail gun. But an hour or two into her shift, she was going strong. Had a little more kickback than I was expecting. <laughs> but now it's really fun. I've used it a lot of times now, and it's really fun. She was part of a team from the Healthcare Foundation of North Mississippi. That team of nurses, administrators, and respiratory therapists is helping build one of three Habitat homes on Nell Street on adjoining lots. Bruce says she is learning a lot and is also glad to be able to help on a Habitat build. You know, it's been really fun working with ladies from other areas of our hospital system and getting to know them and having a fun day with them. Um, it's fun being outside in the pretty weather and it's also just really good to know that this team of ladies from North Mississippi Health Services is helping another woman um, become a homeowner. Habitat Homes not only help people realize the dream of home ownership, they also help clean up the neighborhood. The city of Tupelo gave all three of these lots for this Habitat build, and when the homes are finished, it will be a big improvement for the neighborhood. We're getting new houses and we're getting people and families who are committed to the neighborhoods. Right. So, and that's only gonna increase, I think, the property value and, um, and, and really just improve the quality of life in our city. Each Habitat build has a construction supervisor, but most of the workers are volunteers. Don Bishop is a retired pastor who helps out every Tuesday. It's pride, security, uh, just, you know, uh, and just the joy of having a place that you can uh, not only live for you and your loved ones, but also uh, uh, build a future in. All three Habitat homes on Nell Street should be finished by March. Telling your story in Tupelo, Allie Martin, WCBI News.